We had to answer question 8 of the January 2010 OCR Core 4 Maths A level paper. Another question on the calculus of trigonometric functions. Let's take a look. Uh, it asks us to state the derivative of e to the cos x. You should be thinking straight away chain rule. I will remind you of the chain rule as by way of some revision. The chain rule says if you have two functions, let's say um, I'm going to write them in this notation, f of x and g of x. And you have a composite of those functions. So you put one function into the other. For example, f of g of x. Okay, that means you work out g of x and you put that into your function of f. If you want to differentiate this, if you want to differentiate this composite function, what you do, you differentiate uh, the function inside uh, the f, so you work out g uh, dashed of x, and you multiply it by, uh, you differentiate the, the original function f of, it, uh, f of x, you differentiate that and work out f dashed, and you evaluate that at g of x. So, our chain rule here, our f of x is e to the x, and our g of x is cos x. So if we want the derivative, if we want to differentiate e to the cos x, what we're going to do, we're going to differentiate uh, the g of x, uh, we're going to differentiate cos x and we're going to get minus sine x. Then we're going to differentiate uh, f of x, which gives me e to the x, but we're going to evaluate it at g of x. So we're just going to get back e to the cos x back. So that's the answer to the first part. The derivative of e to the cos x is minus sine x e to the cos x. OK, let's move to the next part. Um, hence, again, keyword hence, we're going to use above, we're going to use above the fact that this derivative is minus sine x e to the cos x. We we'll definitely must using that fact somewhere above. Hence, use integration by parts to find the exact value of the following integral. <coughs> Integration by parts, uh, we use it when we're integrating two functions that are a product, uh, are multiplying each other, and it says that if we integrate um, u v dash, okay, two functions, then the answer is u times v minus the integral of u dash v. Now, the key thing here is to define well and decide, decide on which should be our u and our v. Our v is chosen by the one we can easily integrate. Now, we know here, look at this here, this sine x e to the cos x. Looking at part one, we know that if we differentiate e to the cos x, we get this. So, going backwards, if we integrate this, we get e to the cos x. So if we integrate sine x e to the cos x, there's no minus in this, we would get minus e to the cos x. So v dash would be best chosen to be this because we can integrate it well, and therefore u would be cos x. So let's write that out. Our u is going to be cos x. Therefore u dashed is going to be equal to minus sine x. And our v dashed we've defined to be sine x e to the cos x. So therefore our v integrating that using the part above must be e uh, must be minus e to the cos x. Now this question is simply about substituting into this formula formula and evaluating the answer at the limits. Okay, let's go straight on and have a go at it. u times v. Cos x times this. I'm going to write that as minus cos x e to the cos x, and I'm going to evaluate this, uh, I'm going to take the minus out, I'm going to evaluate this at 0 and pi over 2, and then this is subtract the integral between 0 and pi over 2 of u dash v, of minus sine x times minus e to the cos x, so that would be the integral of sine x e to the cos x with respect to x. <clears throat> okay, let's work out this first part here. Let's put pi by 2 in. Cos of pi by 2 is 0. So the first thing I'm going to get is 0. Putting in 0 into cos x, I get 1. And e to the 
uh, and I'd get an e to the 1 here. So I'd get minus e to the power of 1, which is just e. And I've done that first part. Now if I want to integrate this using what I did before, the integral of this is minus e to the cos x. That minus will cancel with that minus, so I'd get plus e to the cos x evaluated between 0 and pi over 2. Okay, what am I going to get here? Well, minus minus e is plus e. And here, if I put in pi by 2, well, cos of pi by 2 is 0, so e to the 0 is 1, so I'm going to get uh, in this bracket here, I'm going to get a 1, and I'm going to subtract, if I put a 0 in, cos of 0 is 1, and that would be e to the 1, which is e. So e plus 1 minus e would simply be the number 1. So this integral, which I might call i, that integral there has value equal to 1. And hence we have done that question. I hope you found that uh, answer useful in your revision for core 4 and in particular the calculus of trigonometric, trigonometric functions. Thank you for watching and listening.